Barcelona. Hopefully, practice and qualifying are as good as Bahrain, but hopefully the race is better. So I have to say, Barcelona definitely is not a favorite track of mine. I think it's mainly due to the fact that I've had very little experience with it overall. It is definitely a unique shape, but um, I don't really think that there's much anything else there that's rather unique or outstanding in any way, shape, or form about this course. So that's like a second gear corner. <laughs> The only thing that I do have to say is I'm pretty sure I drove this track when I was trying to review uh, the wheel that I'm using as we speak. So immediately, um, the wheel, in my opinion, actually is pretty decently high quality. But yeah, apart from that, I... Eh, it's an alright track, it just... I was gonna say there's only... I don't understand how there's like a DRS zone in, in sector... at the end of sector 2. There's just not enough space for that. The only space is really here, I guess. So can we set an alright lap time? So I'll break there. There's no brake marker, so I have no idea where that is, so... Thank the Lord for the racing line. <laughs> Well, I'll come up to here, break right at about the curb, go down to third gear. Probably could have been as low as second gear would have been all right with that. Or just breaking there randomly, but that seems to be at the right spot. <laughs> we'll come down to here, end of sector two. Apparently that spot is a DRS zone, and that does not make any sense to me in the least. Again, there's just no space for it. It's not enough. Lana enough runway for it. That corner is going to be a little bit awkward. Well, that spot is all right, though. Oh! Going a little bit wide. Activate our DRS. 136. I'll activate DRS here. Yeah, that's... Very slow, well, very short spot for DRS still. I guess it works. Almost oversteer out of that corner, so I'm glad I was able to catch that. 134 is, yeah, 134, there it goes. <laughs> oh well. This will make for a very interesting qualifying then, might I say. Ow. Not surprised. Oh. Alright, so we gotta get at least into the 134, so that's for sure. Break at the 100. Second gear is a little bit on the low side of things. We're able to carry speed up through this area quite well. Oh, I like to see that we have the little ghost car of Schumacher. We'll break here. Not an ideal exit, but we're doing all right so far. Right there, into third. Activate the RS. Yeah, this is just not going well. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Yeah, maybe the difficulty was a little bit too uh, much there. <laughs> this game really emulates Mazepin's risky driving quite well, and I... <laughs> it must be very frustrating to deal with. 
in the real racing world. But we'll duck in on the inside, so that will no longer be a viable option. Massive. Oh. Uh, we're going to see if we can keep on going on the inside of all these cars here. As the pack of them just really like to kind of go... Kind of do some blocking here. That looked bad. Are you all right? He was trying to make a pass that was not going to work. Yeah, really? Okay. Qualifying, not so good. Restart, a little bit better. Want to see if we can be up on the inside here, but we got a lot of the other people who have the same idea too. Don't want to lose the front wing. Don't want to lose the front wing. When everybody's packed up like this, people will just have random tendency to do brake stance, and there's not a whole lot you can do about that. So I'm just going to play it safe from here on out. Car's not having... Oh, what are you doing? I was going to say, car's not having... Really? Ugh. Car's not having brake lights is a little bit difficult to judge when they are braking. But apparently one guy decided to make a pass, and the rest of the grid decided to pass in the same space. So time to make that back up. I want my spot back. Thank you. I almost slid there. That was losing a little bit of grip there, too. Let's shift down the second gear. This spot is always a little bit slow. Okay, first lap. Interesting. We made some huge place increases. Managed to get them to stick, so... Let's be... conservative on how we drive from here on out. If there's an opening, we'll take it, but we'll try not to force an opening, per se. I think I see an opening here. Wow. He's going to want to take it back. Yep. And we go wide. But we uh, keep our position somehow. We got somebody who's trying to go on the outside there, and, uh, nope. Went a little bit deep there, but managed to keep all the car intact, which is unusual for me. A little bit of a hairy exit there, but uh, seemed to do pretty all right. I'm going to see if we can take our slipstream. Hit up on the outside. And I guess we make it work. Nice. Armstrong has a little bit of a slow turn there, but we're able to capitalize on it. He is really wanting to make sure that he takes that spot back. Not going to let him. I'm going to dive down on the inside of that one. Don't feel any contact, but I wouldn't be surprised if there is some contact on the back rear. Got a guy here who's on the inside there. Kind of backs off a little bit. And we keep their place. Nice. DRS. Open. Open. 
Okay. Up in 10th place. Kind of where we want to be, honestly. Of course, I want to be higher if I can. I'm going to take that opportunity right here. Okay, so that spot there is third gear. That's good to know. Nice work. That brings you up the place. Perfect. So we don't have our DRS for this spot, which is fastest lap. Nice. I guess all the uh, overtakes that we did uh, makes us the fastest person on the grid in ninth place. <laughs> I wonder if we've got... Yep. Oh. Not great. Going to take it back, though. Nice. Oh, they really want it back. Almost kind of pushes us off there. And we didn't let it happen. But that was a little bit scary. <laughs> Gotta make up a second to seventh place. I think we can. Apparently a lot faster than I thought we were. <laughs> Let's be a little bit conservative here. Try not to do any moves there. I'm not going to try to do moves here either. Guess we can go here. I think they were even using DRS and I wasn't, so that seemed to be alright. Nope. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't see that one sticking. Every time I've tried doing an overtaking that spot before, it's just not been great. Have we got any spots that are going to lend itself open to us? On the outside? No. Over here, though? Eh, not really. Oh. This is my spot. Thank you. We're <laughs> getting up into the top five pretty quickly. With the amount of aggressive overtakes that we've had this race, we might actually be on a podium pretty quickly. There we go. That was a much better exit. But yeah, we got to make up two seconds in a couple laps. I don't see that happening all that well. Let's just focus on having good laps. There we go. Nice exit on that corner. Still no DRS. It's been a couple laps. So I think we're going to... go kind of more on the defensive on there because we see that we got somebody Mr. Tictum trying to make that pass our two second gap to fifth place has increased to three so let's actually start trying to make up some time. This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Okay. Um, we're not shaving off seven. Well, yeah, we're not shaving off three seconds or more. So I think our goal in life now is to just kind of defend our spot and make sure that we don't have any last minute overtakes for sixth position. Any last minute accidents? No. <laughs> Let's 
Sixth position. I mean, not great, but much, much, much better than 22nd. Oh, driver today is me! Nice. Look at that. Up to sixth. I think we're actually in sixth place as well for the championship. Nice.